Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. On today's bulletin, bushfires wreak havoc in Bulawayo. A bill is passed to help older people in Zimbabwe. A play has been written about two Zimbabwean Big Brother stars. And the Junior Rugby Africa Cup kicks off in Harare. Bushfires that are blazing out of control in Bulawayo are destroying forests, grasslands and property, as well as killing people and animals. Melody Mukuti reports. Raging veld fires sweeping across Bulawayo and other parts in the country are destroying crops, property, plants and wildlife. ATV spoke to residents who are concerned about the destruction of the country's environment. Eminaifunuguti Ebulawayo-based environmentalists urge the community to desist from starting wildfires as this has severe implications on the environment. But as you know, but as you know, we sit in one minute. We make a zara moat. At the same time, we are opposed to foot in the mirror. So now that we are ready to face my English now, we are going to start. We are going to come and share. Bulawayo United Residents Association chairperson also condemned people who drop cigarette stubs along the highway or leave unattended fires after a breakdown. One thing that I would best advise perhaps the residents is to say, look, if you have anything that you feel perhaps you want to get, you rather perhaps uh, uh, dig a, a, a pit, just, just put whatever stuff that you just want to get rid of, just put it, cover it with, with sand like that. It is not really advisable for people to go about burning things in the open like that because it really causes environmental pollution. An official from the Environmental Management Agency refused to comment on the matter. Despite efforts by environmentalists and other stakeholders, felt fires continue to wreak havoc every year, destroying crops, assets and valuable natural resources running into millions of dollars. Reporting for ATV in Mulawayo, Zimbabwe. The long-awaited Older Persons Bill that will give government grants and other economic and social benefits to older citizens has been passed. Our reporter Muchaneta Chimuka gives us more. Vanu vakwe gura vakatambira ni mwoko maviri kuziko koketu kwa mtemo unorira kuzero zavo. Older Persons Bill sezo uchibata bata nuna zeo penyu wavo. This bill was drafted in 2002 and it has taken us painfully too long to be enacted. But uh, Help Aid Zimbabwe is currently appreciating the stage at which the bill is at. Because now we can see that um, there's room for improvement of the living standards of older persons in Zimbabwe through the means testing uh, cash transfer program and um, where older persons are going to receive Grants on a monthly basis. There was a much of a political commitment from MPs and other legislators. I was saying this, this bill was drafted in 2002. And surely, if the bill is drafted, it means that uh, there is a gap in terms of policy. Services, uh, transport facilitators being okay, they are supposed to at least offer some discounts to older persons. I've also talked about the commission of older persons, uh, access to health uh, services where these older persons are not supposed to pay uh, for accessing these health services for their medication or any treatment that we are going to get at the institution, at the health institutions. We have a lot of money to pay for the health institutions. We have a lot of money to pay for the health institutions. We have a lot of money to pay for the 
Nindiri pamusha pana kasi wai papa ndi na si chanti basi ra program ni onda ifari lao kuti daenda wanao jinoti basi wao kubaku rumende kunyanya mario ondi chiwa na yuko hospitali ndi chira piwa oma ara wangu wava katara ni shema cha muziki avari kutarisa na nao kuti apetu ni mtemo uyu tarisa kana wajeku kuda iso kuti apana mna iti fungo kuti kunywa na wakura mata muziki wai tika na kuruwara tango kuruwara chumba apana kuti kuti basi amari ni hosi ya sisi sisi Kauna mari, semua saya ini saya susu. Kita mesti bawa kita bujang. Kita sangat lawak kat tuan di sana. Ini neta. Panu mak kuih gula wajin jiwar kuya ura wajin saya sokujka. Batika karena cowu viri cekuti wararami. Mutemu muda uyu ida nora kana kapa kurerutsa mata muziko akatar sana ni mak kuih gula. Dini mtoro na we ATV dini muarare Zimbabwe. The feud between two Zimbabwean contestants in the 2012 Big Brother Africa reality show has been transformed into a new play. Robert Tafumane has the report. Yes, we can be friends with a good friend. Renowned play writer Stephen Chifunise has penned a play on the feud between Rockford Josephat and Maneta Mazani on the 2012 Big Brother Africa Star Game reality show. ATV caught up with Davis Guja, who produced and directed the play called Encounter. So from um, a concerned 70-year-old writer's perspective and a concerned 45-year-old producer, we sort of like put our heads together and say, look, how do we participate or at least assist the country in terms of actually ensuring that we should all be seen to unanimously talk about no, no, no to violence. Davis says that Rocky is quite an amazing character and very much talented young man. He is um, truly, truly gifted as an artist. Um, and the level of the crossover from, from him as a musician to being Rocky, the actor, who is also going to sing, by the way, in the same play, has been truly astounding that he has managed to put it all together very, very quiet, very, very easily. And Rocky says this was quite an experience and he's eager to learn more about stage plays. Uh, I want to practice uh, plays because I want to get into films. I want to do some action films, but it's about um, uh, learning a whole uh, set of characters, a whole lot of things that you can be as a person, opening your mind, you know what I mean? Davis also shed light on the personality of Maneta Mazzani outside the star game. She's completely different. I'm aware that maybe the country itself said, oh, you know, she comes across as, as dumb, as just basically just stupid, somebody who not, does not express herself well and so forth. This is a 22-year-old girl who sits with you. When she sits with you, she, she's mind-blowing. She's just very open about who she is and she speaks eloquently. Manita, who is not part of theatre in the park because of other commitments, is being represented in the play by actress Notando Novengulam. Other actors include Michael Kudakwashe and Chipo Bezurem. The past disqualification from the Star Game generated a lot of debate in the country. Reporting for ATV, Robert Avmani, Arare, Zimbabwe. <laughs> No, 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 we, 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 we. The Under-19 Rugby Africa Cup has roared into life in Harare with eight African countries battling it out to get to the Junior World Rugby Trophy in Chile next year. Robert Tafumani has the story. Eight teams from Africa are competing in the Under-19 Confederation of African Rugby Trophy which qualifies the winner to compete in the Under-20 Junior World Trophy in 2013. The Zimbabwe Rugby Union manager said the young Sabres have a good chance of defending their title. Uh, we have a good opportunity to actually go there next year to Chile and actually perform better than we did in the past three years that we've actually been going. Uh, at the moment we do have uh, Zimbabwe playing against Kenya. They have the upper hand but uh, we feel that our preps have gone well and it's a game of two halves. Kenyans probably had the first half and we were going to definitely win in the second half. The CFISO also said that the rugby development program has helped a lot to lift the game in the country. Um, who have really uh, are tried and tested, who have uh, the experience and have come through the ranks itself. Um, the boys themselves, like I said, uh, are coming from the, the best rugby schools uh, in the country. Uh, and um, obviously, they are just their heart for playing for Zimbabwe has brought us through each time.
he aged school kids to come and support the boys since it was school holiday. Uh, it is school holidays. Those kids that have finished uh, reading uh, and would like to just have a bit of entertainment come down, support us. The corporate world needs to come out and see what the young men are doing. And then we have the finals on um, the 1st uh, of September. In the opening match, the defending champions Zimbabwe beat newcomers Kenya 13-10. Namibia Hamad Tunisia 44-7, while Madagascar beat Morocco 34-17, and Harare Select, who have replaced Uganda, beat Zambia 27-14. The participating teams are from Kenya, Madagascar, Morocco, Namibia, Uganda, Tunisia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Meanwhile, a local car dealer donated a vehicle worth 25000 to the Sebo's coach. I know it's tremendous. I mean, it's a it's a great achievement, and we you know it's great steps in how we're trying to get rugby to go forward in Zimbabwe. And it's tremendous that Toyota have come on board and, and and helped us in the way they have. Toyota coming on board is a huge, huge impact for us. It shows that uh, corporate Zimbabwe is believing in our cause, and in particular supporting the coach Brendan Dawson. He's the reigning uh, annual National Sports Association. Uh, coach of the year and the Sables are the team of the year. Reporting for ATV, Robert of Money, Arare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Mm -hmm.